D-list Cardano. Just in the U.S. Oh. Uh, yeah. What did that have to do with a juicy, juicy Black Friday sale? I mean, price always precedes news, man. I mean, you got some COVID news with price. You got a little bit of, I mean, Bitcoin's been red for a few days now. But, you know, end of the month, people might be doing tax stuff. There's always news you can put to it. Is there reasons? There's probably a cornucopia of reasons. Does it matter at the end of the day? A little bit, probably. Uh, yeah. Why? So I can know when to allocate funds to buy more. That's still just price-based. Is the news that is making price the important part? If, if there's some juicy news that might come out, sure. I'm ready. But if I wake up and Bitcoin's like, Thirty-five thousand dollars. I would be like, shit. I wish I had like done some research to see if anything might have caused the twenty thousand dollar drop overnight. I don't. I mean, you think you can find that news? Well, if it drops twenty thousand dollars, I'm sure it's pretty big news. I'm sure Not it's really like, with Bitcoin, man. I'm I sure mean, it's like, oh, Joe Biden made Bitcoin illegal or something. Like, yeah, but you you think you're gonna find that the, the night before? I don't know. Maybe. But especially with Bitcoin and crypto, like big drops, sure, someone's going to slap a news piece on it and it might be re related to that news piece or it might be something else and there's news on top of that. But, you know, price is price. And 20% drops have happened pretty, yeah, pretty but regularly. They always happen for like something. Someone sold a lot. Yeah, but like, here's the thing though, like, someone sells and then that triggers response that people panic, right? Yes. So, like, there has to be like something to trigger the panic, you know? There's, can it be that, say, just someone sold an enormous amount and it, it, it triggers a, a good portion of a sell off? And yeah. so people's response is like, okay, something has, has to have, have happened. Is it possible that nothing happened? And then news organizations are scrambling for news to try to, to alleviate the human brain of something has to be the reason for this and then slap news on it. And it could it may be correlated or it may be, you know, just happened in that same amount of time. Absolutely. But the drops that matter, like the crash of 2017 or 2018, the crash of 2021, those are attached to really big pieces of news that like they're just an undeniable link that what there's was just the, a spark what, what were the news is before for the, the the significant crashes 2017 i believe was that whole like bullshit with tether and like it being like a ponzi scheme and then people just losing faith in crypto almost as a whole and then it just like went into okay. a deep slumber okay okay and then 2021 i believe was just that Elon Musk drama. You know, I don't know. I think I honestly, I honestly think it's kind of delusional to not like look at the timestamp of the tweet and then look at the time that Bitcoin plummeted 50% and be like, no correlation there. That's just me. Sure, sure. Perhaps. Like if they had happened at different times, maybe six hours apart, I'd be like, okay, you know, maybe, maybe something, but it's like, dude, Elon Musk is a thought leader, bro. If he says buy Bitcoin, people are going to buy it. He literally Whoa. brought Doge from the death, from the fucking grave. And now like people take it seriously. Humans, humans are indebted to human psychology. Yes. Like a lot, a lot of this stuff is just psychology. A lot of it, a lot of it, most of it that plus other big monies triggering humans being like yo i got to do 